Happy Earth Day! It is April 22nd and we are celebrating God's creation today. And we are looking at scripture that talks about how God created everything in the beginning in Genesis. And we're going to begin our time today by being grateful for all of the many things that we have in creation that God has made, including us. Uh, as we saw in the video at the beginning, there is such a diversity that God has made. and that is a great gift. And also that we are also living in a time where things are hard and we might feel isolated or we might feel lonely because we're not going to spend time with our friends or we're having a hard time with our schoolwork and to acknowledge the highs and lows this week. So I hope as a family, you can take a minute or two and to talk about your highs and lows for the week as we will later pray for one another. And so, um, let us take this time to share, and then we'll read our scripture from Genesis. Listen now for a word from scripture as we read the creation story in Genesis chapter 1, verses 24 through 31. As we hear about the creation of humanity and how God says it is good, and our role in caring for creation. Then God said, let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make human beings in our own image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in God's image. In the image of God, humans were created, male and female. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. And God said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth, and all the fruit trees for your food, and I have given every green plant as food for the wild animals, and the birds in the sky, and the small animals that scurry along the ground, everything that has life. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all that he had made, and God saw that it was very good. And evening passed and morning came, marking the sixth day. The word of the Lord for the people of God. So in the scripture today, we are reminded of our call to care for creation. And today, Norman, my dog, is with me, paying attention to hearing scripture. and. It is a job of my family to care for Norman, but it's also our job to care for all of creation. And so one of the things that you can do is to care for the environment by using less energy or using less water or using less carbon. There's a, on the next page, there's a calculator, a carbon calculator that you can measure how much carbon your family emits every year and work towards getting a 10% reduction in carbon emissions to help the environment and stop global warming that is impacting our environment and our health. So I hope that you take this time to think about the ways your family can make choices to help the environment and also care for creation as you care for one another and those four-legged, two-legged, winged, and those in the earth in our world. Let us take time now to pray for our neighbors and ourselves and our community. Let us now come to a time of prayer. As you remember the highs and the lows of our week from earlier in our time together. And remember that today is Earth Day and we celebrate God's creation. From the moon and the stars, to the trees, to the animals, to the fish and the birds, to the insects, and to us. 
that we are all God's beloved creation and gift. Let us now come together in prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for this time to think about creation and our role to be good stewards of this gift. Help us to know that each of us has a key role in caring for the earth by the choices we make and by the actions we take. Help us to have good judgment, choose thoughtfully and act with care to show our love for you and our love for this good earth that you have modeled for us. This planet, which is our home, in this great big world. We know that there are people all around the world, oh Lord, who are experiencing sadness and uncomfortability as they feel the anxiety of this world, oh Lord, as it changes every day. News of the virus and changes to our daily life. God, we ask that you would be with us as we are at home with our families and missing our friends, as we are at home away from our jobs or have, may not have anywhere to go for work right now or are not able to go to school, oh God, that you would give us comfort and that you would be with us and that you would help us to remember that we are your beloved children and that we have the gift of one another and our time together at this time of worship, that we can connect and be united in that love, and that we can work together in this time to comfort one another. We ask all this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and let us bless one another by sharing the sign from American Sign Language of I love you. Bless you in this week as you go forth in your ministry that God has called you to and bring you back safely next week so that we can worship and bring glory to God together.